Hi everyone and welcome back. Um, sorry if I sound a little croaky, I'm a, I'm a bit under the weather. Um, I was in bed all day yesterday trying to, it's kind of more of a stomachy style bug than anything else, but it really knocked me out yesterday. Um, I felt really bad and all because I was meant to help Ivan with the CBR, but I, I will, I will. But um, basically today I've been in bed and I'm restless. So I thought I'm going to go to the garage, I've got some parts to look at and we'll have a little look over this bike for an hour and then I'll go and get back into bed. I just can't help myself sometimes. guys I so I, I have no idea about these kinds of brakes I've never ever seen them before there's the pads in there um, this side seems to push that side uh, stays this side pushes onto it so it kind of makes sense um, my guess is that this should all be loose and falling out and need to clean so I'm just I'm literally going to try and push this pads back and out I'll use brake cleaner um, it was doing something a minute ago it was when I when I nipped it all up it was doing something but I think there is a system here that I don't understand. I will, of course, later get online and, and look it up properly. But for now, I'm just going to have a little spray and a play with this and see um, see what we get at this stage. All right, guys. So, I mean, I, I'm absolutely winging it. But, um, but I have extracted the pad. It will need a good clean. The metal will need a good clean. This side just sits in. Um, I need to just even this side up a bit, but it does have um, some uh, wear left, which is good. And I think it just, it, it kind of, it was working. It just needs a good clean in here, you see. You know, like, like you would do with a, a piston in one. You just clean the area nice and well. Other side sits in, but I'll give it a clean anyway. Lots of, of brake cleaner. With adjustment... Um, your adjustment screw is in here or you use the white piece that came out over there to turn it to adjust it out So adjustment seems to be fairly easy uh, Main thing is here to get this greased up at not well a little bit of grease maybe but to get it cleaned actually so that the um, pad slides in and out nicely at a good rate um, I'll look online about whether grease is normal or not so we're all sitting here chatting, there's a bunch of everyone over there, look. So I thought I might as well do something. So I sanded down the uh, rear. <laughs> yeah, it took me three hours to sand it down. The rear um, chain guard. And I'm just going to use some um, satin black at this stage. At this stage it's just a protective coat. We'll see how well it looks or, or doesn't look afterwards. Just a protective coat uh, to stop the rust coming back through. I haven't done the inside really, you should do the works to stop the rust. Um, what I probably will do eventually is clean the inside and put some um, some uh, hammerite on to make sure that happens. But for now it's just cleaning up. So there's the before, you can see where I've sanded it, high spots, low spots etc. Um, no primer, I haven't got any straight on with the uh, satin black uh, in um, light coats and then a couple of heavies or a few heavies. So we're a couple of layers of paint on the um, chain guard and then this is the um, ignition area. Basically anything, these lot are useless, absolutely <laughs> useless. Basically anything that can come off, I've cleaned the rear shocks, they've come up really nice compared to how they were. Um, anything that can come off and have a little coat of paint or something can. Uh, I'm not touching the engine stuff yet, but uh, anything that can be polished can be polished all of this I've done bits and pieces even this little bit in here uh, uh, down uh, forks will be um, painted eventually uh, that little bracket goes up here that's where the ignition will be ultimately it goes in up there but it needs to dry a bit and uh, yeah I don't know I think I'm gonna do like I said earlier I'm gonna do bits and pieces of, of patchwork on the frame using hammerite but nothing nothing major I've got a new um, 
fold cable coming. So I don't know, we're at a weird stage. Until carbs are on and I can hear this bike, I don't want to spend too much time on it, which kind of makes sense. Eventually though, like I think I'm going to black the whole thing out as much as possible, probably including the engine. I endorse this uh, idea. What, black it all out? Indeed so. Well, if you've got the owner's range of the, the tank, uh, black as well. These guys haven't seen the actual um, shape. Let me throw the tank. I, I was there when you picked it up. Yeah, I said these guys. Oh. Let me throw the tank on in the rear seat so you get a rough idea what it looks like. Ultimately, that's the shape. Um, yeah, of course, we need to work out what we're doing back here uh, and how we're mounting the seat. But ultimately, that's the shape. We might have air boxes. We might have the original side panels, but the rear end is going to be like this. What I need to work out, Dan, is how I mount a number plate holder and a, and a light. Yeah, that might be right though, it might just be on the back there, sticking up above it. Nat just bought a modern one, it's like, it's got like an arm coming off it. So it kind of comes out at an angle and I think it's adjustable. Oh, you, right. I think I could just bolt it up to there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Put a light on it, but it might be too modern for this shape of bike. But that's a cool shape. Remember this bike, no tax, no MOT, insurance will be stupid cheap. It's historic, no ultra low emissions, no power. <laughs> um, the lights. Yeah, yeah. It'll be great. I've just got to sweat out the carb stuff. So overall today we've got very little done and that's okay. Bits of polishing, rear shock looks much better, it looks clean. Um, blackened the chain guard, just blackened up here for the uh, ignition and just bits and pieces. Actually the front brake's okay. Um, don't get me wrong, it's rubbish, but it's doing what it should be doing. Um, I don't know if there's any kind of high friction brake pads or anything you can buy for it. There might be, but it is braking, um, and it feels great, it feels smooth, it feels greased. It, it's doing what it's meant to do, but it, it doesn't feel good, if that makes sense. Um, but on a cable-operated brake pad system how's it meant to feel I don't know uh, I'm a cool storing this in the garage uh, for obvious reasons I just feel more comfortable but um, the next step for me is, is a waiting game sadly I wish I could be working on this all week but until I've got these carbs there's nothing more for me to do I can kind of consider the rear end and start mocking bits up thinking about what um, what bracket I've got. I've got a, um, a lower end side plate bracket that I could use if I was to mount the number plate down on the side. Uh, but, I, you know, I, I've said it before many times, I like kind of um, dynamics uh, of a bike. I like it to be, uh, you know, a nice shape. And I think you change the uh, dynamics of the bike when you put things to one side or the other. So I don't know, uh, is the truth. Not there yet. Other things like um, all of this stuff, in the long run, will I be popping it off and painting it? I'm not sure. I really, really don't know. Uh, again, let me know in the comments what you would be doing with this bike. Uh, I mean, that, that makes such a huge difference, that little, that little blacking it up. It really does compared to what's around it, all of that. So it's, quite, it's worth doing. Eventually, very, very, very eventually, the engine will probably just go black. Um, I'll just tape up around it. High temp black all over it on there. It's going to be a... This bike's going to be one of them um, hipster London free everything. Kick me and drive me to work. Don't care about me bikes. Uh, and that's okay. So yeah, um, when I hook the power to it, the light comes on with this knob here, but not, with, uh, this does change its high and low actually, I'm so confused, this does change its high and low, uh, it didn't come on automatically, it comes on with that knob there, but nothing else does, no horn, um, I don't know if the rear, there isn't any rear lights, uh, and the starter button definitely, definitely didn't work, however when I bridged the um, solenoid here, I could get it turning over with the solenoid. Also when I got it, it was rock solid seized. Um, the reason I chanced it is because 
when I pressed the kick, it moved uh, a, f a couple of centimeters first and then, so you know, seized up. So I chucked some oil down there and, and loosened it all up. And now it's absolutely, um, you know, light as anything. Uh, great, great compression. So, uh, yeah, um, not a long video today, members, but uh, but you get the first uh, call on this one, really. Stuart uh, already knows off the bike because he happened to be here the day I went and got it. But um, I, I think it's, 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 it's stunning. Oh, I, I've, also, I've already looked at the front brake pad. I have never, ever seen a disc that uses a wire, guys. Never did. Remember, I was born in 85. This is, this is you know, nine years before me. Um, never seen a cable driven uh, disc brake but I've got it working really nicely um, through just common sense breaking it down, cleaning it, uh, hooking it back up and adjusting it so the front brake is what I would think is okay for its era, it's shocking otherwise and then the rear drum is, is um, I don't know what the rear drum is I haven't looked so um, yeah um, what was I going to, I was going to talk about funds um, I've tried to preempt some bits and pieces coming up and to uh, think ahead. So I've ordered a brand new um, throttle cable in here and uh, a fuel tap. The bike didn't come with a fuel tap. Part of me wonders if these guys had a box full of bits somewhere. I did ask them um, and they said they didn't. This was exactly how they were selling it. And you know what? I'm not angry at them. I, I bought this for £500. I've already got the logbook. Um, I'll be getting a black. I'll be getting a black and silver plate. I believe I'm allowed to on this era bike, and I don't think I'm going to mess with indicators. Um, I, I'm going to be considering that. I'm going to be thinking about that uh, because you don't have to have them. It's much earlier than the uh, 80s, so you don't have to have them. And uh, I quite like the clean looks of them. Um, I've been chatting a lot. You guys, you already got quite. Um, passionate about this bike a lot of you so uh that's good um john freed i've been talking to a lot he's dead set don't cut back here and actually i, I trust john and i respect john and i think john's right um because it this is a frame this is a 44 year old frame now um start chopping away and it's ruined i think he's right so i've got two options i can bolster this and and bolt it down in a way that absolutely doesn't affect the frame at all, which is what I'm thinking. Or I can buy an original seat and fin it down. So it has all its bolting bits, fin it down. It will lock in like normal. Um, I think the key set has the key to that on here. I think I need to double check. Uh, and then I want a very, very simple number plate and one simple light and brake light at the back. I really don't want anything busy at all. I want to keep it sleek. Now, we'll have a little look at these carbs down here in a moment. Uh, they were, you know, £180. And I had a bit of a go at the um, <clears throat> the company. I say a bit of a go. It was my idea, my version of a bit of a go, which is very weak, if I'm being honest. Just about their lack of communication. But they did message me maybe six days later and said, we, we apologise about this um, because uh, they were away and someone else was running the business. So do you know what? They got back in contact it really does resolve things. Uh, the other thing is is the fuel tap. The fuel tap I should have got should have had two outputs for fuel. It should have had two. This one has one. It's for the CB175 or CD175. Um, but I was speaking to the owner who makes these, the owner of the business, and they make these. And he's asked me to check that if this works for his own curiosity. So there is a, a tap there that I'm going to be trying on this bike with one output. And there's no huge issues there, I think, because I think I will run the first fuel line along somewhere and then I'll split it into two and that will go down into each carb. Um, no, no issue there at all. The tap can still be turned on and off when you're not using the bike, so there's no worries of overloading the system over time. Uh, that's, that's fine. That's one of the first things I'm going to be, be looking at, seeing if the tap fits, letting the guy know so that he can add it to his um, listing. What else? Uh, I think let's have a look at these carbs. They're down here. Let's see what we've got. They're very pricey. Um, he reckons he was riding the bike two weeks ago with these carbs on, so they should be bolt on and get on with things. Yeah, look at these little fellas. 
Um, that's it, really. That's that's what they are. Uh, I'll need to find four bolts that go onto these, um, or four nuts even to go onto these bolts over there. And that's fine. I'm not going to clean these for the simple reason that um, they were being used two weeks ago, so they'll be fine. Uh, I'll put some fresh fuel through. I don't want to mess with any of the settings. This was on a bike and this was running. Uh, they've even left some fuel line on there, which is great. I, I probably, I probably can use that actually. <clears throat> what I do need to find is well, I need to check that the the tap works. Look at these little fellas. They're tiny. Um, if you think about it, it's hundred cc each side, isn't it? And then added together. So okay, that's. That's okay at this stage. I'm glad that they've cut the cables on this occasion because one of the worries is that um, if they don't, they lose pieces to the sliders and uh, and that can be really annoying. Uh, slides are both fine there. They're both moving freely. Uh, okay, cool. Hang on a minute. This slide, that's funny. I've never seen... I don't know what's happening with that slide there. Look, it's got a weird front to it. What the hell is that? Or is that the choke or something? Ah, that is choke. Wow. Okay, so choke to the left is off. Choke down is off. Choke up is on. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, I, I really don't know where to start. I'm going to pop the tank off, see if I can bolt on the uh, fuel tap. I, I do want an inline filter as well going through that tap because even though I've cleaned the tank, um, I want an inline filter for, for, for obvious reasons. So let me have a little play. Let me see if the tap. Let me see. Let me show you guys the tap. I haven't even pulled it out. I'm being very lazy. All right.